Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center for Mathematics. In this video, I'm going to give a brief explanation of the derivative in calculus. So here we have some function f of x. f of x might be a polynomial, it might be a trigonometric function, it could be anything. And here in green, I've sketched the graph of some function. What we want to know is, what is the derivative of this function at a point, we'll, we'll call it a, just some arbitrary value. What is the derivative at this point? How do we compute it? What does it mean conceptually? And how can we visualize it? So we'll start with the visualization. Suppose we draw a tangent line to the graph at the point a. A tangent line has a rigorous definition in calculus, but conceptually, you can simply think of it as the line that just barely touches the graph at that point. Well, the slope of this tangent line will simply be equal to the derivative of the function at that point. More generally, what the derivative means is the instantaneous rate of change of a function with respect to some variable, in this case, x. Now, the instantaneous rate of change is a bit of a mouthful and may seem like an abstract concept, but if you consider a car driving along a highway and you're looking at the position of the car as a function of time, you could think of the instantaneous rate of change of position as simply the velocity or the reading on the speedometer. Okay. But the question remains, how do we compute a derivative? There are two different limits that can be used to compute a derivative at a point. One of them is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x. Here we'll substitute in a for x, all divided by h. Well, how do we come to this formula? It may seem somewhat arbitrary, so let's try to visualize it. So here at this point in yellow, we have f of a. And let's make some little interval down here, which we'll call h. So this point must be a plus h right here. Great. Then correspondingly, that point is f of a plus h. What we're looking at here is the slope of this secant line, the line that connects these two points on the graph. As h gets closer and closer to 0, and as a plus h get closer and closer to a, this secant line will approach the tangent line, which is how we arrive at this limit. If you can compute this limit, you can find the derivative. Typically, it will involve expanding both of these expressions based on whatever f of x is, and then canceling out the h, so you can simply plug in 0 directly. Now, the other way to visualize this, we've got f prime of a, again, a limit as h goes to 0. But here, we'll write f of a plus h minus f of a minus h, all over 2h. Well, what does this symbolize? Well, here we have a plus h again from the previous limit. But now let's go in the opposite direction. Here we have a minus h. And then right here, we have f of a minus h. Then, then what we're looking at is this secant line, which connects f of a minus h to f of a plus h. 
And what this limit says is as h gets closer and closer to 0, and both of these points get closer and closer to a, this secant line will approach the tangent line that we're interested in. And again, in order to compute this, you'll want to expand both of these terms, cancel out h, and then plug it in directly. My name is Ryan Malloy, and this has been an explanation of the derivative in calculus.